In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to use sections, which are the most basic building block in the Divi Builder. You can think of sections as large, horizontal, organizational elements that, that stack up on your page and that you can use to group different content together. Um, within a section, you, house, you can house uh, as many rows and modules as you like. Um, sections come with various settings, so this blue bar here, that's a section. When you click on the settings link, you're going to get various options here. Each section can have a background image. It can have a background color or a background video. Um, if you upload a background image or video, then obviously it's going to go over the background color, so you won't see that. So if you want to have just a background color, you can define that and leave the other ones blank. If you define a background video, then that's going to overlay your background image. Um, when you define a background video, you're going to want to upload two formats, MP4 and WebM. Um, uploading both of these will help ensure maximum compatibility for various browsers. And when you upload a background video, you're going to need to input the correct width and height of your source video so the theme knows how to resize it correctly so that it fills the whole frame of your section. You can also define an inner shadow for each section. Um, or you, and you can also choose a, to enable or disable parallax effect. What that will do is if you're using a background image, the parallax effect will make that image stick in place. So as you scroll, the background image doesn't move and the rest of the content kind of moves in front of it, which um, can look really cool. So for this first section at the top, I'm going to test out using a video. So I'm going to upload my background video MP4 and WebM files. So I have two videos here already uploaded. And then my width happens to be 1920 and my height happens to be 552 and that's in pixels. And so that's it for that section. And inside the section I'm just going to add an image. Um, I'm going to do like a little logo at the top here. So I'm going to insert an image module. And I'm going to choose this logo here that I've already uploaded. And I'm going to have it fade in from top to bottom and save. So we have a basic section with a background video and inside of that or on top of it, um, depending on how you look at it, we have an, uh, a logo image. So I'm going to view the page. And there we go. So we have this section here, background video, and an image sitting on top of it. And this is a really cool example where the image and the background video kind of have some interplay. So it almost looks like the logo is kind of zooming in space, which is really cool. So you can have some fun with how your sections interact with the modules that are inside of it. And below that, I'm going to add another section. For this one, I'm not really going to define um, any background colors or images. I'm going to leave it white and uh, leave the image and video fields blank. And um, we'll insert four columns here and just put in some blur modules. I'm just going to put a blur module on each of these. And I'm going to update. There we go, we have a basic section with a just plain white background. So that's what that looks like. And um, it's, it's usually a good idea to kind of break up your sections. You don't want to have like three background videos in a row or three background images. So it's kind of nice to have a video, then break it up with a plain white background, and then add another section below that. And we're going to try adding a background image. So I'm going to add a new section. Click the settings icon. And I'm going to upload an image. So I have this kind of space scene here. And for this image, I'm going to enable the parallax effect that I was talking about earlier. 
click save so that'll make that image kind of stick in place as you scroll and uh, I'm inside of that I'm going to add an image module so I have this rocket image and it has a transparent transparent background so you'll see that space background right behind it and then click save and let's see what we have here So there we go, we have this background image, you can see how it's kind of sticking in place. And as you scroll, because we have this rocket image, it almost like the rocket is flying upwards through the clouds, which is another example of how you can kind of make your modules and your backgrounds interact with each other. And let's try that again with a different image. So here I'm going to add a new section. And for this background image, I have another spacing, and you can see here it's actually the same exact spacing that I had for my previous section, except so for this one I've made it black and white. And for this background I'm going to make it stick in place with the parallax effect. And just like before, I'm going to add another rocket image, this one which is also black and white. There we go. I'm actually going to put this one over here on the right and inside this uh, column I'm just going to put a divider module just to um, fill up the space but I don't really want anything in there so I'm just going to add this blank divider and I'm going to click update and as we scroll down we have our new section with our black and white background image and the reason I, I used the same image here is I wanted to show you this other cool effect where I, because I use the same exact image and they're both parallax, it almost looks like the image is transforming in front of our eyes because they're both sticking in the same exact spot and the only difference is that one is black and white and one isn't. So yeah, that's a really fun effect that you can do as well with the background images. And for our final section, I'm going to add another um, just so another plain white section and inside of it I'm going to do a full width uh, one column call to action module and what I'm going to do differently here is that I'm actually going to disable the background uh, color for this module usually the CTA would have a background color kind of a bounding box so here where it says use background I'm going to select no and um, for text color I'm going to keep it dark because the background is dark um, Add in heading. I'm going to update that. And if we scroll down, you can see we have our CTA, but the background of the CTA has been deleted and it kind of assumes the space of this section so now um, it's almost like we have a full width CTA module here so that's a it's another cool way you can use section backgrounds by deleting the background of your module to make um, this kind of bigger area of separation and to bring more uh, attention to the actual module so yeah that's a basic overview of sections with the Divi theme